Often people will want to add a standard navigation and I'm going to do this in several steps. So the first thing I did before I even got started is I updated each of these and I actually wanted to say module one and it has the title. And doing research with students, they do prefer to know what's in each module and our buttons should reflect that. You could also, instead of doing modules, you could add dates to this if you wanted to, but before you create that navigational system, you need to have these overviews set up. Now, I have not gone through and updated these much. Um, all I've got is just a blank outline of things I'm going to do later, because I want to put my navigation in here right before the topic overview and indicate what page people are on. We will also go through linking to the different assignments and things in a future video. As I'm creating this new class, I'm going to document everything that I do so that you guys can sort of play along with me. So in any case, I have these all created and I'm going to go to my home page. Um, home's actually coming here. I actually want to go to my pages. I don't think I have it set as my home page yet, but here we go. This is my, that yeah, is my front page. Okay, so home's not pointing here. So let me minimize this a bit. I want to add buttons right under here under the title that will link to each and every page. So I'm going to edit this and I am fortunate to be working with dual monitors. You can't see my other monitor, but I just want to start by um, putting in before my page starts here, because this is all pretty much a table. I'm going to backspace out of it and hit enter. Uh, actually, that'll do. I can have it right in here. That's fine. And then I'm going to want to type in my modules in order. And because I have a second screen, it makes it really easy for me to see what my modules are. And so I'm going to include the page start here and then I'm going to have module one except I don't want to spell it module that's redundant I'm just gonna do one um, web servers it's actually web servers and development tools but I'm keeping it to the basics to HTML And I'm using the number and the name because I want students to know. Ah, that's a big pain. Okay, so then I'm going to have three styling, four creating content. And you'll notice that all of these have various links and we're not going to worry about that. There's some basic HTML we need to make this work um, and then I do have an also a final problem solving that they can link to. So these are all the different modules that I have. Now I can link either to the modules or to the specific pages and I'm going to do some of both. So I'm going to create the links and I'm going to choose the link, course links, pages, I got to clean up the old overview pages I didn't use because I made a few modifications to mine. And then I'm going to grab web servers and I'm going to go for my module one overview and I'm going to do the HTML okay so for problem solving I need to go into the modules because it doesn't have a leading page and I can Click here and 
attach it to my problem solving videos. And I'm going to close this. And before I go any further, I want to test and make sure these are each working. Good. Okay, so now I have all of my links in place, and I want to actually style them as buttons. This does involve getting into the code. It's not that bad, and I'll walk you through it. So you're going to need to click here to go into the website code. And this is code that you're probably going to want to copy down somewhere. I'm looking in one where I've already got it done. So what we're actually going to be doing is creating the style. And so for each of these buttons, I'm just going to copy and place. We need to declare it as a button. So in HTML, they have things called classes, and they're just styles we can use over and over. So to make sure I find everything, I'm going to do a Control F here and it'll let me find a page depending on which browser and this will show up on the bottom or the top and I'm looking for that anchor A because this means it's a link and then right after that even before the title I'm just going to paste in this class equals button button primary and I'm going to flip back and see is it working I actually have to save it for that to show and it is. Excellent. That's exactly what I want to do. So now I can go back into edit. And by the way, that you have this code in here. It's how they do these buttons. And so now I can, again, go into the HTML. And I'm again going to look for that and choose Highlight All. And so that highlights all of these. So I can go up to the top of the page, and for each one of these, I'm just going to paste and drop in a space. And that should be everything, so I'm going to save it and test it. Okay, now this is a common issue here. And I changed this by adding some code So I'm inside my table, and I'm going to add, it'll let you add a div, which is a division, just for my navigation. So I'm going to put in a div style equals line height 3. And so any that needs a closing quotes. And then I'm just going to take that through this list of links. I'm going to close that div. 
And then actually, just in case this works correctly, I never assume I'm going to have to test it. Then I'll grab the whole div, and I'm going to grab that. And now it's space, and it will resize nicely and should work on phones. So I see I want to have a space between layout and site management. I'm going to edit. So I'm just physically typing a space in there. All right, so I'm going to, I'm not getting what I want, so I'm going to go back into the code. And you can put in more than one because it will ignore anything more than one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. There. I actually didn't, so I have an extra one there. I'm going to save it. That looks beautiful. I'm going to edit. And I'm going to go into my code. And I'm going to start with this opening div. And I'm going to take it down to the closing div. And I'm going to do control C to copy it. And then I can go into my modules. I'm going to edit this one. Now with the course orientation, this is an interesting setup for the tabs. I want to go into my code. And here I just want to be even, I want to be above anything else that's in here. I'm going to hit enter a couple times and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to save. There we go. I can go to the next one. Again, I want to be above all of the existing code. And I'm going to save it. And I'm testing this as I go by clicking on each button. So it's going to work the same for each one. I'll catch you in the next video where I show you how to change the colors of the current page that we're on.